It's possible to make the software skip an action depending on how much a player has to call. So for example, you can make a player call a bet when it's small, but fold when it's too large. Let's have a look at an example. Here we have small blind betting $25 into a $50 pot. A big blind races if he holds two pair or better, he calls if he has at least top pair, and he folds the rest. Let's make a graph that shows how small blind's expected value depends on his bet size. Please note that small blind's bet size has been set as variable number 1, which currently has the value of 25. Ok, let's make the graph. I'll vary variable number 1 from 20 to 60, with a step of 1. And here's the graph of the expected value of the bet as a function of its size. But let's say that we feel that small blind's calling range here would depend on small blind's bet size. For example, if small blind is overbetting, then big blind would only call if he held two pair or better. But if the bet is smaller than the pot, then big blind will widen his calling range to top pair or better. First, let's set up his calling range so that it's only applied if small blind's bet is $50 or less. For that, I'll edit the call action. And click on the button here that reads Restriction. I'll set this restriction as being 0 through 50. Meaning that Big Blind will only apply this action if Small Blind's bet is 50 or less. And the call action's name has just changed to reflect this new restriction. Ok, let's now add a second call action for in case the amount to call is $50 or more. For that, I'll just click the decision node. Select Call Action and set the restriction of 50 to some large number. Let's make it 1000. And I'll just switch the Call and Default Action here, so that the Default Action is at the bottom. And for the new Call Action's condition, I'll set 2 pair or better. And as you can see, with the current $25 bet for small blind, the call action with the 50 to 1000 restriction has a label on it that reads skip, indicating that it will be skipped by the software. And the one with the restriction of 50 or less is treated. But if I change the bet size to an overbet, now the action for the smaller bet is skipped and the action for the overbet is treated. Ok, let's create the graph again. And as you can see, due to the skipping based on the restrictions, there's now a jump in the expected value at the point where small blind's bet size changes from a bet of less than pot to an overbet.